and I don't see any traffic, so here we go. Good job. That was pretty good. I don't know how it saw into that dark tunnel. All right, here we go on an LA freeway. My first time using full self drive on an LA freeway. Um, I'm gonna engage it once I get on because this is a really weird on-ramp and just wanna see how it goes. So this is still version 11 while I wait for version 12 to drop onto my car. I mean, I just signed up for the three free months of full self drive and uh, just yesterday or two days ago. So uh, let me get up to speed here. I'm gonna engage autopilot and use full self drive for the first time on an LA freeway with giant trucks around. This should be interesting. Here we go. And we're off. So I've been looking at the tips uh, in the comments section and I'm trying to absorb it all in. So thank you to everyone who has commented on uh, the previous video that we did on full self drive. Uh, right now I've got it three miles over the speed limit. I will get run over if I do that. So I learned that we can use the uh, scroll wheels. I'm up to 60, wonder how far I can go. Let's see if we can go 65, there we go. So 10 over, I mean, allegedly 10 over. <laughs> so I don't know what lane we're gonna stay in here or whatever, but uh, we are going. This is the five southbound from Santa Clarita heading into the San, uh, San Fernando Valley. Uh, Granada Hills, Silmar kind of area. So that's the area that we are looking at. And I'm just kind of along for the ride at this point. Now I've used autopilot before, regular autopilot, like I mentioned in uh, previous videos, maybe five times in the five years that I've had it, just because the uh, phantom braking is crazy. Now those have commented on that video that uh, phantom braking, braking is still a thing, but I'll keep an eye on stuff. Changing lanes, here we go. Looks good to me. Okay, good. We moved over one. So far I haven't needed my hands on the wheel, but maybe that part, no routing with no traffic data, that's weird. Um, but I'm trying to stay uh, attentive here and paying attention and all that stuff. Now there's a, a point in the freeway where there's construction coming up here where it just zigzags real quick. So I'm gonna be on the steering wheel for that because I'm not sure how this car is gonna handle that. We shall see, I guess. It's coming up in a little bit here. Now, having said that, I was driving down here a few days ago and it actually saved me. The it, it nudged me over when the lane was doing that. So I'm assuming this will be fine. Already getting tailgated here for some reason. I mean, go around me. Normally I wouldn't drive, you know, slow like this. You could see cars are flying past me and I'm going 10 over, allegedly. All right, so it knew about the nudge. Apply slight turning force, okay. I don't wanna get thrown into Tesla jail, so gotta pay attention to that stuff. I really wish it would get over one lane, but cars are flying by me, so maybe not. Now I believe I can, okay, here's, I'm getting rained on with dirt and rocks and stuff right now. I don't know what's going on. Car is just absolutely obliterating my slow speed right now. It's pretty funny. It's doing well though. It's it's driving me. This is I. I it's funny. I, my voice goes up a few octaves. Ooh boy, here we go. Truck. Oh, changing lanes. That was kind of cool. It was not liking the trucks or something, so it went over one lane. Still routing with no traffic data. I'm not sure what's going on there. Not a big deal, there's no traffic right now anyway. At least I don't think so. All right, so we're heading up the Newhall Pass. It's a kind of a big grade here. We're in the uh, second most lane to the fast lane, or right next to the fast lane, I should say. It is staying within the lanes pretty well. A little jarring, a little uh, disorienting for the first time for sure. 
I don't have my foot on the gas at all. It's um, kind of hovering over the brake gas area. I call it gas. I don't know why. I've been driving electric cars for 10 years now. Probably should get away from that. Accelerator. It's harder to say. Okay, we're heading into sunshine. I'm interested to see if it just disengages because we all know that the cameras don't like sunshine and this should affect either the left side, the driver's side, apply force, so I did. Um, either the uh, left side repeater or the, even the front camera, so we'll see. I like right when we make this turn here, the sunshine is pretty intense. Still doing 10 over, allegedly. Cars just seem to have calmed down around me. All right, we are heading right into the sun and it's doing fine. Interesting. I thought it'd be, um, I thought it would disengage or say it's not working or whatever, but uh, so far so good. Like I said, I have been, in my previous video, I'm a huge skeptic of this technology, not sure what to think of it. And a couple days in, fairly optimistic. I can't wait to see version 12. Everybody is raving about version 12 and I'm here stuck in version 11 land, but that's because I just signed up for it. So that kind of makes sense. So when the V12 drops, I can't wait to see how much better that is. So we are going to be heading down this grade now, and we're going to have to get over to the right and get off of an exit. Balboa Boulevard is what we're going to be getting off at and we'll see what it does from there. So far, I've only need to apply force to the steering wheel twice. My hands are on my knees right now. Uh, probably should have them hovering or whatever, but um, interested to see changing lanes to follow route. Looks like it's doing okay with that. I'm checking all my mirrors and the camera. Looking good. Looking good. This is pretty cool. Okay, we need to remain in this lane. Ooh, that Lexus is pretty cool. I know it's a gas car, but oh my gosh, that thing is drool worthy right there. Um, oh, apply force. Just did. So we are in the correct lane to exit, which is good. Yeah, the, okay, so it says 45 is the speed limit here, but it, for some reason, always picks up the truck speed on this downgrade of the Newhall Pass. Always. It's never fixed it. So... All right, turn signal is on. It's getting ready to exit. Here is the exit. It's slowing down a little bit. And there we go. It applied some brake. I don't think I would exit that way, but all right. There's a cone off to the left here. All right, it ignored that. And we are exiting. So I just want to do these short little of trying out full self-drive. Uh, I knew this was a pretty short, short run, but at the moment, I don't want to do anything too outlandish as I try this technology out. So I figured these short little trips are a good way to introduce you to the, the technology. If you have never tried it, introduce myself to it because I'm still very skeptical of it. Um, we're heading down the exit grade here. 8% downgrade to be on, to be uh, specific, and it wants us at 25 miles an hour down this curve. I've only had to apply force twice, which is interesting. I've had uh, four times, or I'm sorry, three times. Now it's four actually, I think. So keep an eye on that, because you don't want to go into Tesla jail. You only get five strikes, and then you lose the technology. You lose full self-drive for a week, I think. So, so far, so good. I still got my five count after a few days of using this. So what are we gonna do here? How is it gonna see around? This is a weird corner. It's gonna creep forward. It's gonna look, I hope. I don't see any traffic, so here we go. Good job. That was pretty good. I don't know how it saw into that dark tunnel. Again, this car has the sensors, so that's good. And the cameras, still using those. And uh, lots of detail on the screen here. This is uh, pretty remarkable, all the things that it's doing right now. And we've got a supercomputer on wheels. And uh, here we go. So I'll be ending it after we get up here. Actually, you know what? I don't 
know if I want it to make this turn up here. There is a tight turn coming up from Balboa or to Balboa Place, if you know this area, and there is a major piece of concrete just sticking out. So I'm gonna end the video now. I'm pretty impressed so far. My first freeway experience, Los Angeles freeway experience, uh, using full self-drive and catch us on the next another video. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. We will be doing all kinds of videos with full self-drive. Um, and I'm gonna disengage now. Thanks for watching. Woo, this is still weird. <laughs> I'm doing it so you don't have to.